Hey everybody, it's Murgle, and I'm pretty certain after watching uh, the video that I just posted, at least 90% of you are going to take your time to come on over to Nomergon. So, <laughs> let's capitalize on the fact that we all know you're going to be interested in this video. I'm going to show you the best route to do Nomergon. So, uh, I recommend a rogue because, of course, burst of speed is OP. You're always going to be moving very, very quickly. It's the fastest class for farming instances. Aside from Zulfarek, Druid is actually the best. But look, look, we've even got a rogue here. I wonder if he saw it and he's already in here. Who knows? Possibly. Let's give it a go. But anyways, we're going to show you. This is from the back entrance. I'm going to show you way from the back. And then we're going to go all the way back to the front. So, um, all right. It's really simple. You're just going to be spamming bursts of speed. Not even, not even going to... That's a given. I mean, you should always have bursts of speed up, like... Especially if you're a rogue. Now, druids are a fairly fair, fast class. I mean, if you're a feral druid, you're going to be moving pretty quick. Uh, you can use other classes. I'm just telling you the best one is rogue. If you're in this instance and you want to get it done quickly, best is rogue. Now, I'm pretty certain a lot of you are after the item that I sold, okay? So, um, my belief is it only drops off bosses. Personally, I got it off Vicious Fallout, okay? So that further pushes the belief that it's only bosses. So we're going to make a pass here. Like you saw, I just came in and I made a pass over here. We're going to kill this guy. I'm not too concerned about the other stuff. Whatever follows me, I'll kill it because the other transmogs are worth a lot too. Now, I used to farm this place all the time, but after I got those gloves, I moved on to the other mega rares, as you can see, that I'm currently farming. So we uh, are coming back though because, uh, I mean, uh, that was a nice sale, obviously. Uh, we're definitely going to see if we can get another pair. Unlikely, but, you know. Hey, I bet one of you will tell me that you got a pair. At the time I was selling them, I was the only person in the entire world selling a pair. Like, if you checked under my journal, I was the only one on any realm at that point in time who had a pair up for sale. So, that's probably why they sold. It could have been a guy from another server, for all I know, that transferred over simply because he's so interested in it, okay? Like, these items, there's markets for them across the world, Okay. If you're a diehard twink and you want the best item, you will go out of your way to get those items. So it's going to be a possibility. But anyways, back to the uh, route. As you saw, I jumped down and then I came through here and we're going to go get to the last boss. Now, uh, there is a rare spawn occasionally, which I only bother with him on my ways from the back entrance. But on the front entrance, I don't even go look for him. And since he's technically a boss, I guess, that means he could probably drop the gloves too. Now, as you see, these greens, like I said, the Battleforge set is worth a lot, so it's a pretty popular set for transmogging. But on the way from the back entrance, we're going to go up this way, okay? It'll pick up all those guys there, so we'll get them. But the rare spawn is actually up here. His name's uh, Battleforge. He would be this guy, the walking one. He's not there this time, so it doesn't matter. And we can jump down once we get up here. But, um, yeah, he's he's considered a boss too so i guess maybe like i said he could drop the pair who knows but okay so we've reached the end of it we're jumping down and we're in this entrance so we've went from the last boss up this way and now we're in this launch bay is what it's called and you're gonna take this route right here because you got to get up to the top so uh you run through here which is right off there you go down and then you're gonna come up this way this will take you to the top, and then we got to get the boss who's stuck in the middle. And, uh, yada, yada. It's a, it's a really big instance, so, I mean, you may have to watch this a few times to get the hang of it. Uh, but I've done this a lot. Like, I used to farm it all the time because the last boss drops rare patterns that are only unique to him. So, collectors buy them. And that's what I was mainly farming them for when I got those. So, there's a chance that you may get lucky. <laughs> so, uh, just like I was. That's what freaked me out. And, of course, jump-started the Mega Rare farming. But, as you see, I've made it to the top. And we're coming around and killing him. So, we're going to knock him out. Get his crap. Obviously, crap. Actually, this is a cool mog. I like this, really. But, you know, just saying. That's off topic. Let's keep heading around. And uh, we're going to go kill our lucky old vicious fallout. And hopefully he's nice to us this time. <laughs> it would be funny if, <laughs> if I got another pair on video, then you guys would freak out. Rigged. Fake. Calling cheats. Hacker. I'm sure there would be all kinds of friendly comments. 
But, uh, yeah, that would be really cool. I'd like to get another pair. Take another five months, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to say for five months of, like, a fee of ten silver to post it. I probably spent, like, two, three gold. And, uh, I think we made our money back. Okay, so Vicious Fallout. I'm going to knock him out. Oh, and what's really cool about this is there's actually a mailbox inside this instance. So if your bags are getting full, you can mail them off to your bank alt. One of the best instances. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to run around here, which, as you saw, I went up from him. Went around, killed Vicious Fallout, and then you're going to come this way. Now, if you're Horde, I'm pretty sure these guys are aggressive because they're gnomes. So you actually slaughter all these, and I'm not even sure if you can use this mailbox. So don't quote me on that. Not sure, but Alliance can. So it's really nifty because then you don't, and when your bag's full, you never have to actually leave. Because there's also even a vendor. Now, only Alliance can use this, I'm certain, because you probably kill that guy if you're Horde. But there is a vendor if you're Alliance, which is helpful. Because, you're again, you never have to worry about your bag space in this instance. Sorry, if you're Horde, you're a savage. You should just roll Alliance. Do the right thing. But, um, yeah. Let's, let's kill these guys up. It does take a while for them to pick pick up, but I mean, in the time before I got my first pair, um, I probably made at least 500k off the mogs here because there are a lot of really, really popular mogs in this instance. Like, it's the perfect level for a lot of stuff, and it is worth a decent chunk. So definitely go ahead and actually kill the NPCs. Now, if it's getting near the end, I just vanish because, you know what, who cares for a couple extra greens? Oh, and also these little, these bronze frameworks are used for some things too. They're worth a lot. I sell these like 50, 60, 70 gold each. It just depends on the day. And the fused wiring too. Like, don't trash the stuff that you think's junk. It really isn't. Oh, and look, you got a BOE. So Gizmotron Blade. Something. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's not very interesting, but I mean, it does look decent. And it says it's worth 4K. Probably is. I think I've sold some. I'm pretty sure I got one of them before, so I have sold it. Like I said, you can use this mailbox or this vendor if you're Alliance. Probably not Horde. And um, send away all the greens. So, okay. After that, I, I won't send them away. Just not even going to waste time so you don't have to wait for me to mail them. But, okay, so the point is, once you've done that, you're going to come up these steps. And um, if, when you run to the entrance over here, you're going to reset it. This way you don't have to run back. Now there is another boss, but he takes too too long. He's inefficient. There's a boss over here, and you have to do a stupid event that itself takes about five minutes, so you're going to be wasting so much time. I don't think it's efficient. He probably does have a chance to drop the gloves, but I don't. overall, you're going to waste way more time killing him than it's worth. So as you saw, though, I went from up the steps, came around, and now we're going outside the entrance. I don't know if you're Horde, you probably will get attacked here. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if there's anything around here that will cause you to get attacked. But once you've reset, you just head back in. Now we're doing the exact opposite from the front entrance to the back, okay? So now that once we've gotten in, what I'll do is I'll aggro this first guy because he'll run around and bring me a whole bunch of monsters just to make me more money. But we'll jump down and kill Vicious Fallout. We'll loot him and start heading our way towards the back. And uh, whatever I pick up along the way is um, what I take. But like I said, I'm here mostly for the monsters. The boss is not really the other stuff. So if it comes, then I'll kill it. But if not, then I'm not worried about it. So whatever we get is what we get. We're here for the mega rares, right? That's why you're all here. You want to make all that gold that I made. Somebody will buy it. Don't give up. Like I said, it took me five months. So you'll make your money. But anyways, so you recognize the same place. We just came. Uh, we're running down. And we're going to come around and kill Ex Electrocutioner. Um, and then we're going to jump down. And everybody that comes is who we'll keep. I kill those guys because they're so slow. If you actually leave them go and then wait for them to arrive, you'll be in combat forever. And you may think something else is interesting has come, but no, those guys just walk immensely slow. So anytime I see them, I do kill them. And, um, but again, bosses are the main concern because 
my belief is we can only drop off the bosses. So once we've killed him, we're going to jump. And no, you can't land on that. You phase right through it. Run down this way. Picking up what we get. We're going to get the last boss, slaughter him, and then go up and head towards the back entrance, which is where you saw from the beginning of the video. So again, we've left his room, which is, this is where you land when you jump out. You run in. Oh no, sorry, you land up here. You land up here and then you come down. But um, again, if you want to take the time to check, the rare can be up there, but I don't bother with it unless I'm coming from the back entrance. And then I check every time. So we kill Thermoplug, loot him, junk, keep moving, and I just want to see the rare. It'd be nice if I could see him so you could at least tell the difference. He wears a hat. He's a little bit different looking than the other Dark Iron Dwarves. He is a Dark Iron Dwarf, but he's... Nope, it's not him. So I can't show you, but oh well. You'll, you'll notice him. Like, he looks really different, so it's hard to confuse him, I suppose, for the real Dark Iron Dwarves. But okay, we've came from the ending hall, we've ran up, and now we're going down this long tunnel. And we're hitting a wall, because I'm looking at the map. But we're going to follow this long tunnel to the engineering lab. Which is where uh, the elevator is. The thing that I jumped off of when I came in the first time, so... You run around, and it's on this side of the engineering lab. And then you'll see it here. And don't worry, I, if you get on this, they're going to start evading, but it goes up fast enough that they actually start following you again by the time you reach the top. So they will come after you. So you're not going to miss any of your mogs or anything. And these guys follow for the entire instance. Like, they're not, they're not like a, you only pull them so far. They will come with you the whole way. So you come up from the elevator... And you come around and kill this guy just to ensure you get your chance. And um, again, nothing. Junk. So we've pretty much presumed that we're not getting a pair of the boots. But we do have a chance at a lot of nice hex mogs that are worth a decent chunk. So we're going to bring everybody with us and head towards the exit. And uh, open the door. We've come ar back around and we're coming up this tunnel which is where we started the first time. This is the back entrance, so you saw me come this way and go around. Now we're heading back there. So once we've hit the entrance, and whichever way, I mean, I mean, it's just faster to run out and reset from the opposite sides and do it back and forth, that's why. Now I stand here and wait, and it takes a good two, three minutes before everybody arrives, and then I slaughter them, but... Um, again, if your only concern is getting the mega rare items, then just come in and kill the bosses. But I really don't recommend it because a lot of this stuff is worth a ton of gold. It really is like silks at minimum two or three gold on my server. And that's, that's a, you know, right there is a good chunk of silk. And, um, of course the other X mogs and these things, 25 gold is, is pretty average for me, 20 gold and 50, 60, 70 gold for those things. And, uh, of course, the Battle Forge. This is a popular set, like I said, worth a decent amount. Silver Thread Amos. This does sell for a lot, too. I've sold those for, like, 1k each before. Uh, eh, pretty much everything in here will sell, though. Some really... It's, like, the perfect level some, for some really nice stuff. But, again, look, see, even the green blob guys from the beginning... Like I told you, everything follows, and you could even see a few of them in there. Another one right there. That's from way back at the entrance. So, I mean, that just shows you that you don't have to worry about nothing not following you. Uh, we'll start killing them off. And looting. Oh, another piece of Battle Forge. Let me see if I can find that and show you. See, it's a really good looking mob. It really is. It's male. And again, once you notice that they're starting to die off, I don't wait for the stragglers. I just run out and reset. So we'll assume that we've gotten most of the crown and get back into it. So that's it. That is the best route that I found. 
in um, all my runs of Nobregon from both perspectives. So that's what I would recommend. If you're going in the back, then follow the back route and then reset at the front and then come back in the front and reset at the back route. So I hope that was explanatory. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.